how to insert or remove an Intel Core 2 dual processor onto a motherboard. So um, whenever you are um, removing, uh, removing a CPU, it always uh, sits under the uh, heat sink or a, a fan. So we need, if you are removing the CPU, we need to first remove the, the heat sink. So what we do here, um, we just going to remove the fan first. So while doing this, make sure that you have discharge or the static on your body. You can wear an anti-static um, uh, strap. If you don't have one, then just make sure that you constantly keep hold into your computer uh, chassis. And just uh, have to be careful that you're not touching any other components. Because your electric um, from the body can shock the component and it will basically burn that piece of uh, device or component and you won't be able to use it again so first we're going to need to remove this uh, heat sink so now that we remove the heat sink the CPU sits just right here it is in the CPU slot. So here you can see there is a, uh, a clip. So I'm just going to push this clip down and pull it out and pull it up. And this will, will basically release the lever, allowing you to open up this this one here. So there's this latch you can open up. So here's the CPU. And we have uh, successfully removed this. Um, Intel Core uh, 2 GeoS CPU. So this is what it looks like. And this is the top part. Now to insert it back into the, the slot, make sure that we align all the pins correctly because if you don't align the pin correctly, you can basically damage the pins here. So as you can see, there is a, a mark, a gold mark on a corner here. One of the corner, there is an angle. And when there is a mark, you can see there is one pin actually is missing. So you can see there it's, it's missing on the corner there. So if we turn back, so this mark indicates where it should be lining up down here. So we're going to align up in the slot and make sure it sits in the proper directions. If it, if it doesn't sit in the right directions, it won't work. So make sure it fits right into place. We're going to put the latch down. And push this pin down so when you push the latch down and put it into place and this will lock your, your CPU so the next step is you're gonna put some gel on here and put the heatsink uh, back in and that's it thank you for watching this video